Raising awareness about mental health and reducing or eliminating that stigma associated with mental health is something that is on many of our minds. With us here today is Shane Francescat, who is the events coordinator through Royal Ottawa Health Group, and Rebecca Murphy, who has been a multiple year winner of uh, the videos for promoting uh, mental health. Yeah. Welcome. Good to have you both here. Thanks. Thanks. So Shane, um, mm -hmm. you guys have started talking about, um, so, you know, raising that awareness. Is that, is that the sort of the, the thing that we need to get past is re re eliminating that stigma that's associated with mental health. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, um, in the past it hasn't gotten a lot of notoriety or, right. or awareness or funding. So uh, just in the last, you know, five to 10 years, it's, it's really starting to. Why, why is that? Is it because mental health is not necessarily something that you can see people assume that it's just not real or, or what, exactly. is it, what is it with mental health that makes it yeah I mean yeah um, it's it's definitely not something you can see um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of um, in the past there's been a lot of sort of shame behind it as well sure. um, but the whole point is to to make sure that people realize it's not just me or you it's mm -hmm. you know we're all affected whether personally a family member a colleague mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the role that you play at the hospital uh, I am a one on the events team there mm -hmm. um, so I work uh, work with with our core and third-party events uh, from around the community um, and right now I'm I'm uh, taking charge of the, the video contest. That That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the services that the hospital provides, uh, we're pretty lucky to have, mm -hmm. to have that hospital in our city. Yeah, I mean, we, we're the leading uh, mental health care facility in Eastern Ontario, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I think one, <laughs> one of the top in, in the country. So um, having uh, such great researchers and, and doctors. Mm -hmm. and, and you programs. mentioned the youth video. Yep. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. So you were the 2013, 14, <coughs> and 15 youth video contest winner for the French category. So yes. there's a French and English uh, submissions. So what made you want to, uh, you know, produce? Can you tell us a little bit about the, about the videos themselves and how you came to uh, submit them? Yeah, well, um, my friend was affected by mental illness, and I saw how much it helped her to talk about her problems. Yes. So when I found out about the video contest, I thought it would be a good idea to start conversation with my friends, family members about mental illness and the stigma around it. Right. So my videos are usually about um, making sure we don't discriminate people with mental illness, and we encourage them to talk about it. So that they can get the help that they need. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was just going to ask about how the whole contest came about. Obviously, it's important for you as an event coordinator, but also mm -hmm. for the hospital, to reach out to people and get them engaged mm -hmm. in talking about it. Yeah. Is that the idea behind the whole contest that you were hoping to achieve? Yeah, and I mean, it, uh, it, as part of, of breaking down stigma and get people talking uh, it's a lot easier to get people talking and used to the the idea when when they're teens and and younger and and as you're growing to an adult mm -hmm. um, it's it's just second nature right? so yeah. the contest was what the contest uh, sorry you mean the, the video contest yes basically you invited who to submit anyone so, to yeah. submit so, so it was youth wasn't it, it was, it's youth it was an age, so there's an age uh, yeah for so submissions. the yeah. The uh, parameters are uh, that you have to be between 12 and 21 years of age, um, resident, o resident of Ontario, mm -hmm. um, and that's essentially it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so it's basically promoting uh, a call to action, yeah. um, okay. talking about your experiences with mental uh, health or mental illness, mm -hmm. um, changes you've made with... Um, mm -hmm. Was that you? I think we're your looking at it. That, that's your video? Yeah. Yeah. That's my sister. And so uh, I, I think it's so wonderful that you're asking youth to, put, to do these videos because um, understanding um, their <coughs> connection and how they sort of interpret what it is that they're going through is really what we, what mm. we need to really understand yeah. uh, to help. So that's a big part of the video submission, right, is understanding or what is your connection to mental health. Yeah. Correct. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So you had a friend that was struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's sort of what got you involved. Yeah. I thought it would be like a good idea to just promote mental illness and start talking about it. 
Do you find that um, people your age are usually willing to open up to other friends and other schoolmates about, about what's going on, or is it still something that people keep to themselves? I still think it's something people struggle with because they're kind of embarrassed or they're scared that they will be discriminated for it. Judged. So, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So you just you, you just keep it. Yeah. Out. How does social media make a difference? Is is that a big deal amongst um, you know using Twitter, using Facebook? Is that something that um, you obviously get a little bit more information about people because you're one big community of, of youngsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it can be either a good thing yeah, or, or a bad, bad thing. thing. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. Because yeah. it's easier to reach out to people, but also um, you can get like scared of what others can say about Absolutely. you. Is the deadline Absolutely. for submission uh, done, or what's the deadline, and can people still submit videos? People can submit until 11.59 uh, p.m. February 21st. And, and the gala is the Inspiration Awards Gala, and that's Friday, March 4th. March 4th, and the contest is sponsored by Quarter Village, so we're... So good to have you here. Very happy to have them.